The Buffalo Teachers Union lost a round in court today where a judge refused their request for a temporary restraining order against the Buffalo Public Schools. Well, that order, Scott, would have prevented the district from requiring teachers to report to school to conduct online sessions from their classrooms to their students learning at home. We get the latest from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. When the Buffalo Public Schools announced that all students would be staying home and learning virtually for at least the first several weeks of this school year, it also said that it intended for its teachers to report to their empty classrooms and teach their students from there at least two days a week. The union went to court insisting that although the schools would be relatively empty, they still weren't safe for teachers. It claimed buildings lacked adequate ventilation systems and that in several older ones, the windows were inoperable. And it called the protocols set up by the district for cleansing those buildings and screening those coming to work inadequate. But Judge Frank Sedita said despite those claims, the union failed to demonstrate any imminent threat to the health and safety of teachers. So he ruled in favor of the district. Phil Ramore heads the teachers union. Well, we're obviously disappointed. Uh, we feel that uh, the teachers uh, now will be going into uh, buildings that are dangerous. Uh, and even if they're not going to have people that have accommodations, need accommodations go in, what about the people that are perfectly healthy? And they catch some. At the same time, though, and as it reiterated in court today, the district is apparently giving pretty wide latitude to teachers who don't want to return to their classrooms, whether they personally feel it's unsafe for them, whether they have health issues with a loved one staying with them, or child care issues. It's pretty much up to them. We'll have more about this decision coming up at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.